Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is not a horoscope. It's an oracle energy reading. So this is for Virgo, wherever Virgo energy influences your life, even if it's external to you. Uh, if you're dealing with a Virgo, um, there's always a tarot card reading that is in a part of an extended reading. And that link is in the description box right down below. Um, that goes into depth and specifics and personalizes the reading and also includes a romantic tarot. So hop on over there after this reading is done or right now, if you want, go ahead. <laughs> um, but usually they were, these re readings really work together and they, you need them both. You really, really do. So um, there is no dates on these videos. They do come to you when they're supposed to. I've learned that. People don't even care about dates. But there is a new video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, please click subscribe and then ring that bell so that you know when I upload all the new content. All right, Virgo, let's get into your energy. And what's coming out? Gemini energy and watch your words. Something really, 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 oh, you want to tell somebody that you love them so fucking bad, but you're like, no, I can't. That's your crowning energy. This energy of just like really just wanting to like spew it and say it and maybe even be too much about it. A sense of, yeah, no, that's what I got. That's the energy, 100%. It's just so close to the surface. You just want to, you just want to like, you, you need to say it. It's so close to the surface. You just want, want this. You want to say it. Oh, it's so bad. You want to say it. Ooh. But you know, there's, there's, there's you holding back because it's almost like, you know, that if you say it, you're going to cause trouble. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, it's almost inevitable. Like you, you want to say this so badly. You, you just have a lot of, you have, you have a lot on your mind. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love inside of your heart. And it could even be just you trying to find the right words to be able to express it to the person that you want to express it to. It doesn't have to be romantic love, but it's definitely love. I wonder what stayed your hand. I wonder what <laughs> made you hold back. Okay. There's your reading. Be playful. You're trying to keep it light. You're trying to keep it playful. You're trying to keep it not necessarily. Yeah, you're trying to keep it shallow. Why? Because it's easier that way. This is Gemini energy as well. This is keeping communications light or using communications to like lighten up your mood, right? Or the fact that you're receiving communications from somebody, hearing the words that they love you or hearing, um, hearing I love you is almost like you're trying not to take it too seriously. There could be a suspicion here that if you're hearing these words from somebody else, you feel like they're just like parroting or mimicking what you said. You're not really certain that they're a hundred percent in depth right now. You're a little bit, you're just, you're hesitant. You just want it. You want it. You want it. You're trying not to take it so seriously right now, or you're trying to like, you're trying to like not go dive into deep right now. You're trying to like stay away from deep emotions right now. Be fearless and bold. Oh, but you just want to attack. There is this sense of, so you're really in conflict here. Well, there's air energy is I think fueling the fire. Some sort of communications uh, that you're receiving, Virgo, is fueling your fire. It's igniting your certainty and determination to go after what it is that you want. Or that that sense of, of knowing that I can get what I want and what I want is like right in front of me. There is such an energy of just go, like, Oh my God, feeling so happy, maybe getting news or getting word that you just, you're just so happy that you're, that you, you want to just charge forward. It also brought up your sense of self-esteem, your sense of self. So it, this is news that made you feel really full and complete.
Sing your own song. <laughs> Liberation. Something that liberated your spirit, liberated your soul, and also made you feel really good about yourself. Like, do, 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 do. Like, like, um, I, I just feel like, because this is Gemini energy too. Are you dealing with Gemini? Or is this just the other side of Mercury? That side that is um, knowing how to talk to somebody one-on-one. -on -one, knowing how to say something in just the way. Or hearing something exactly the way that you need to hear it. Hearing the words that you need to hear that makes you feel so friggin' good. Very, very happy. Like, I'd like to swing on a star. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's that energy. Um, I feel like there's this um, message that you just got that's really kind of liberating you from something that hurts you a great deal. Something that you worried or you worried about. Um, so now it's almost like with word or message that just came in, you almost like want to like celebrate and like dance around, but you're trying to re restrain yourself. I think it's because maybe people around you don't know this full situation. And so you don't want to like make yourself look bad or make yourself look, um, you don't want to come off as like gloating, if that makes any sense. Um, or... You want to like refine it and hold it back a little. Like I said, you don't want to get too excited about it because you just, you don't want to get too excited about it. Let me, let me figure out why. Truth transcends illusion. Yeah, you just got like, but, but, and the truth shall set you free. The truth is going to come out. In other words, in terms of how you feel, this is your central energy, right? It's almost like you've been recognized. You've been recognized. And the truth about a circumstance or a situation is finally what you said that it was or what you knew that it was or what you realized it as. Or it's just like you're in a position where you can finally share the truth. You can finally say what you've been holding back. Mm. Freedom is yours. Oh, liberation from hurt, from pain, from sorrow, from suffering, from a bad relationship, from a bad circumstance, from a bad job. The bridle, the harness is off. This is total freedom. You feel finally really free. Something is making you extremely happy. This is Aquarius energy. It could be friendship, you know, of maybe freedom. No, not freedom from friendship. But it could be um, a message through friends about friends or a liberation from old friendships that don't serve you anymore and like finally being in a place that can let you like like, like you can you can let it go and maybe that's what this wonderful this word is these messages that came in virgo is like you're finally in a position where you can let you can let old relationships go you can let old friendships go you can finally like be okay with the fact that you're moving on or moving to the next level, you know, not next level, or like you're finally moving to, you're, you're, you don't feel like you lost something. You feel like you're finally almost able to get outside and, and be happy. I gotta keep going. Nothing is wasted. Energy of six plus three adds up to nine. This is finding treasure in a trash heap. That's what this card is. It's like, oh my God, something good has come from this freaking situation, finally. Right? <laughs> uh, yes, this could be silver lining, but this could also be making the most out of the circumstance, making the most out of what you know or what you understand right? Making the most out of it and using it to your advantage to help carry you further or help you make progress. Think on your feet. Seven plus, uh, no, no, two plus seven is nine. More nine, 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 nine. There's something that you have to do. There's something that you have to say. There's something that you have to know in order to move forward. And that's about to happen. Because you're being called to move on to a next phase or a next step. And completing this thing will help you do it. But you're going to have to improvise. It's chaotic. It's chaos. It's almost a little bit crazy. And you're going to have to fend off some really uncomfortable energy in order to do it. This is Sagittarius energy. It's also, oh, I, I just heard it. 
being being acting like a Sagittarius and saying exactly what's on your mind. Like just like letting it out, spewing it, saying saying exactly what you want to say. Maybe there's a silver lining. Maybe you did. And it's it's almost like what you wanted to say was exactly what everybody else wanted to hear or exactly what other people were thinking of saying. But you're the one that said it and let it out. Sweet results await. I tell you this is going to work out for the better. Like even if you accidentally said something at a work meeting, it's going to be like, oh, well, let's put you in charge of this project. Type, you know, it's going, to, it's going to work out to your favor. This is honey, this happiness. This is happiness that you've been working on for quite some time. So you're finally able to suckle the sweetness of something that you have been working on or working toward a long time. Know your worth. This is a nine too. Nine is all over. Oh my God, Look, go look up the spiritual power of nine, the spiritual energy of nine. Something is coming out. Something is coming to a conclusion and needs to be finished. So it's almost like something that gives you back your value. A conclusion has come that gives you back your value. Gives you back your job, gives you back your sense of self-worth. And you don't have to pretend anymore. Because even though you're a little skunk, you come off smelling like a rose. Um, trust in divine detours. I, unex, just go with the flow. This is unexpected. It's going to come out of the blue. Totally left, left, like left hook. It's going to come out of the blue. This is also Sagittarius energy. You dealing with the Sagittarius? It's just going to take you by surprise. And move you in a new direction. Reclaim your power. Yeah, this is you feeling better about yourself. And it, it took divine timing. The energy of eight is divine timing, destiny. Everything had to click into place. It couldn't have happened until now, Virgo. But now is the perfect time for it to be happening. Getting back that sense of everything that you are and finally being able to feel good about who you are again. Because it's like you've finally been sort of vindicated. It's almost like vindication. If, if that's, if I had to, if I had to wrap it up in an adjective. And I feel like this is an energy of surrender now. Just letting everything go, going with the flow and flying right into the flame like a moth to a flame. But I feel like this is an energy of watching, sitting back and watching somebody else moth to a flame, just burn, crash and burn. And I don't know why you're taking joy in that. I don't know why you're taking joy in that, but there is a sense of, um, let's put it this way. There's a sense of an ending. Maybe that's what you're taking the joy in. There's a sense of, of, of finally something being able to be over a relief, a release. Because you're getting release all over this reading. Energy of just being able to finally like move on. Maybe being able to move on from saying what you wanted to say. Like glad that you held it back. Glad that you didn't say what you wanted to say. And like finally find, finding a way to like not need to say it anymore. You got to leave the comments because like tell me what's going on. This is really interesting. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera so that you can see the cards. See, pretty intense energy. And what's grounding you is a sense of, like I said, vindication. Of finally being able to like let it out. Let your truth out. And finally being able to let your full self be seen. You know, this could just be like really having fun in quarantine, being like, yeah, I mean, I can finally like, you know, wake up in the sweats. I never wanted to get out of sweats anyway, you know, like working from home, but you know, but this is, this is more than that because it is definitely something that it's just, it's almost, oh, it's almost like, like, for example, maybe you've been trying to like convince your boss to let you work from home for a freaking while. And now you're proving that you can do it. So now they can never ask you, like, now, you know, that you have the upper hand, like you can go and be like, well, if I, I can work from home in quarantine, clearly it works. Let's just keep it going this way because it's secretly what you've always wanted. So it's like you capitalizing on a circumstance at just the right time. You had to wait for the right time. But it's like you're capitalizing on a circumstance to make 
uh, the circumstance or situation work for you. Uh, and you're feeling really good about it. You're feeling like you, you get to let go and release, um, you know, discomfort, you know, being in a situation that you like uncomfortable feelings in a situation that you didn't want to be in, you know, you're finally able to sort of act the way that you want to act and behave the way that you want to behave. And there's this energy crowning your energy of holding back, not, or, or finally be, hmm. It's like not, not wanting to say the words, I love you, or not wanting to say what you really like, not wanting to say what was really going to make you happy. Like you decided to, you decided to hold that back, hold back these feelings, these feelings inside of you of what it was that you were really feeling. And now you're kind of glad that you did. Ooh. I need to know what the hell you guys are up to. Like that's, I'm just like curious. This central energy here though is definitely like truth transcends illusion. It's like, look it, there's a reality right in front of you. You can't pretend it isn't happening. It's almost like I didn't make it happen, but I told you it was coming. And when we got that reading, I told you so, something like that, or I was right. But this is a sense of like you wanting to like jump on it, jump on that circumstance now to sort of capitalize on it and, and make something work for you, make something or be able to get the opportunity to say something that you've been holding back for a while. I just want to know if you're going to do it. Let's go into the tarot cards flesh out this energy and then see what's going on romantically too. Virgo, the extended link is below. I'll see you guys over there.